Of the various mothers in Stardew Valley, you know, Jody is one of the most popular ones, but she's always just a little bit out of reach in the vanilla game. You, you can't, you, you can make friends with her, but you can never truly have her. This mod changes it. It was weird. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Full stop. All right, let's, let's go. Oh yeah, I did skip to year two, just so Kent will be here, because I was curious if anything would change. Kinda evil, I know, but you know, it's, it's all for science. No, I do not want a cat, I'm sorry. Jody is kind of an interesting one, because she has, like, kinda some, some messed up lore, where she, like, hates her life, basically. <laughs> Which, I mean, is fair enough, since she kinda, like, not literally, especially since we're now in year two, she, like, almost lives a life as, like, a single mother, because of the fact that Kent is overseas fighting in a war. And I, I believe she she doesn't even like particularly enjoy being a parent. It just kind of ended up that way. But you know, we're gonna give her a better life. She can come li come come live on my farm. You know, sh she'll be happy hopefully. I don't even really have anything against Kent. I just kind of kind of wanted to marry Jody. Kind of feeling it, you know. Okay, now we gotta buy a house upgrade from a, a, a fellow mother of the village. I do. I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of Demetrius. So do you guys want me? You guys want me to marry Robin? I'll think about it. I'm debating it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. So if we just kind of block her about here, even though it's Tuesday, we can still buy and use the store. Well, fun fact for, for people who uh, head straight over to Robbins to buy something and then realize that it's a Tuesday. Don't care about that though. All right, and Jody really likes diamonds. So we're gonna give her some nice iridium quality diamonds. We're just balling like that. It's nothing for guys like us. All right. Oh, there she is, no way. You're such a sweetheart, I really love this. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay, I'm Jody. I, I'm, I, I, I wonder what she was imagining. To be honest, I truly, I truly do not know. I guess the farmers wear like sunglasses. Maybe like normal sunglasses, but not like the, the cool shades like I wear, you know? Oh man, if we were marrying Robin, it would be so easy. She'd literally be at the house. We'll definitely be getting to her next time. I'm very curious to see what all these cutscenes are going to be about. I, I really feel like they could be about literally anything. Like relating to her life as a mother or something like completely different. Wait, how do they sleep in that one tiny bed? They got to get like a queen sized mattress. Hey, don't mind me. We're just friends, okay, Kent? Don't mind me at all. What did you say? It's 9 a.m. already? My goodness. I still have tons of work to do. It's only 9 o'clock, man. You got loads of time. And that's two arts. Okay, not entirely sure how to trigger this one, so I'm just gonna finagle around with all these the time and see if I can get it going. But I'm, I'm not sure if I'll be able to. I think she needs to be in town? She needs to get out of the house, man. Oh, I think she's coming now. Maybe? Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Alright, nice. So, I, I'm not entirely sure, but if I walk out of the town, I should get it. I think this one has something to do with Vincent, maybe? Yeah, okay, here we go. Holy smokes, he's legging it. Look at him go. And he somehow does not manage to see me. He's not the brightest kid. Ouch. Sorry, mister. Yeah, cry. Look at this little guy. Sounds like, looks like he's about to burst into tears. Little baby. Oh my, okay, never mind. Sorry. I didn't mean it. Vincent, I told you not to run off. I think you need to watch your kids better. I'm all right. Nothing to worry about. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, okay, that wasn't, that wasn't super, super thorough. I don't know. I don't know what I expected. Well, you know, it, it's I'm I'm practicing my my fatherly skills. I gotta be I gotta be a good father, you know. Maybe, maybe I'll adopt Vincent and Sam. That'd be really weird if I adopted Sam. Maybe I'm being a little bit too generous with this gift. Like diamonds, she's probably just like selling them. She's not even like valuing them. Treasuring them is the first gift from her her new love. You know you know what else is kind of funny? You know how like certain items like people can't really like or like don't really like that much. If you just give them enough of them, like they'll eventually like them. Like, it might take literally hundreds of them. And the, the idea of that IRL is just so funny. Like, an example of a liked one is bread. Like, imagine if you, IRL, you're, like, neutral on bread, you know, you don't love it. Like, maybe you'll have, maybe you'll have a sandwich every now and again. But it's not your favorite part, you know? But, like, imagine if someone just came up to you and just gave you, like, two bread a week, twice a week. Would you eventually start being friends with them or, like, start liking them? I don't know. Oh, sorry, Kent. Bro, it's okay. You'll make friends with your son soon. Also, I literally am not friends with him. I have zero hearts with him. Don't mind what I'm doing at your house every morning. <laughs> Sorry, I feel kind of... This is kind of just mean. I'm kind of mean. It's kind of just uncalled for, man. I don't know why I'm doing this. With, with Caroline, it's like Pierre sucks. But Kent is just like a dude. Am I evil? Do you guys think I'm a bad person for doing this? Like, maybe I should stop. Maybe I should just let them have a, you know, a happy relationship with each other. 
and like rebuild his trust in his family, you know, get to know them, all that stuff. Maybe that, oh, never mind. Who cares? Cutscene. Okay, cutscene time, cutscene time. She's washing dishes. I swear to God, that is all she ever does. Oh, hello there. I'm just taking care of the daily chores. Sigh. Sometimes I wish Sam and Vincent would help me out, but I can't bring myself to force them either. I'd be, ha I I'd be happy to help you out. I'd help you out. Although, I feel like you should, like, you know, you're, you're giving them room and board. I feel like you should make them do some stuff, man. Oh, she's Sam. He's, like, he's like 20 years old. Really? The house isn't even that big. Like, just make him, like, sweep the floors. It'd be, like, a 20-minute job every week. Oh, thank you so much. It would really help me if you just took this trash out. That reminds me, I need to take the trash out. Gotta bag up all these cardboard boxes, too, so I can take them out. Amazing. Okay, wow, these cutscenes are kind of bad so far. Thanks for the help. No problem, Jody. It's truly my pleasure. Now, you may notice something. First of all, that my house is upgraded. And second of all, that it's winter. Oh, and the Jody's here. <sighs> Hi, Gug. You? That was quite a workout, walking all the way up here, bro. Really? Anyway, I came by to ask if you want to have dinner with us tonight. You don't have to, but if you decide to come, could you please bring a largemouth bass with you? That's right, one of those big slimy fish from the lake. I need one of those for a casserole I'm making. Okay, well, be at our house around 7 p.m. Don't forget the largemouth bass. Bye bye Okay, Jody, that's not what I was talking about. I was talking about the fact that it's winter, because it needs to be winter for our next cutscene to happen. And even though we're not there yet, I decided to prepare, you know? Freak you, crap, I'm not watching. All right, I'm gonna show up early. Give her her morning diamonds in front of her husband. And then I'll come back at 7 for dinner. God damn, traffic jam in the hallway. Holy smokes. Only four people in the house. How could that even happen? All right, I meticulously crafted and caught this largemouth bass. Let's do it. Let's see what's happening. Hi, Gug. Please come in. Sure thing, boss. Wait, you only have two chairs. How do you guys even eat together? Ah, I'm so glad you came, Gug. And you brought the fish. Wonderful. I didn't have a choice, did I? Sam, could you come in here and help clean the fish? Yes, man. Why are you so pissed off, man? One tiny job. Stop whining. It's light work, man. I'm just gonna throw it on the floor there, too. You know, it's perfect. Ken caught a fish, too, but eats a whole fish to himself. Goddamn, Ken. I mean, I can literally chow that down in one bite, so... It's nothing, really. Just saying. Just, just saying. Mmm, that crispy bass was delicious. The breading was to die for. I almost feel like a part of the family now. Oh, I'm gonna be a part of the family. That is for sure. Back for a nice little morning jog over to Jody's house. You know how she was saying that like it was so exhausting or like it really wore her out like walking over to my house? She should like very much walk over to my house every single day, you know? Then she'll be, she'll be used to it. You feel me guys? You feel me? We can get, we can get a little bit of Caroline wizard action going. If you're picking up what I'm putting down once again. Hey Kent, we're just good friends, don't worry. All right, as soon as, as, soon as she leaves the house, we can go get another cutscene. So let's, let's just casually stand in her kitchen. She's not gonna worry. It's a small town. Everyone knows everyone, you know? Boom. Oh, she's sad. God damn, must be cold. Must be cold on this bench. Holy smokes. Oh, hello, Gug. You're probably wondering what I'm doing here on my own. Oh, she's really sad. You see, Kent and I rushed into our marriage when we were still pretty young. I feel like I didn't get to fully live out my youth since I was busy with chores and our kids. I barely did the things I love anymore, like playing in the snow, for example. I used to have so much fun whenever it snowed. I still love it, but I just don't have time for it anymore. How about we build a snow- yeah, let's build a snowman. That sounds pretty fun. That sounds lovely. Thank you, Gug. Wow, holy smokes. That's actually a crazy good snowman. That was the most fun I've had in a long time. I'm glad I got to do this with you. No problem. Wow. We're, we're getting closer and closer. She's opening up about her suboptimal marriage as well. Sorry, Kent. Honestly, the more I learn about, like, Jody, the more I just feel bad for doing this. Like, honestly. <laughs> okay, for the next cutscene, Jody needed to come to Pierre's. So, waiting for that. I'll get out of your way. Sorry, Jody. Let's cutscene it up. This is not the one we want. This is the one we want. Oh! Have you met the farmer that recently moved here yet? They're just incredibly good-hearted and helpful. I'm starting to really like them. Oh, she want me. She so want me. Well, speak of the devil. Oh. Gug! Were you listening to us? Every single word. I take back everything I said about you then. I don't want to see you anymore. Just kidding. What I meant to say was, no, were you talking about something? Phew, that's a relief. Don't worry about it. What a big change. That was monumental, truly. All right, uh, don't see Kent anywhere. It's time to make the move. Time to go for it. Hey, Jody, wait up. I didn't think you felt this way. I guess we're a couple now. Yeah, a couple of besties. Please just forget the whole thing. What are you talking about? Take some more diamonds. 
Amazing. Okay, well, now we're now we're best friends, apparently. Very cool. Now I gotta go home, wait for a letter from Jody to show up. Wow, she sent me a recipe for fried calamari. Damn, I wish she sent me that, like, the baked largemouth bass. I think that'd be way better. First place, though. Holy smokes. Never mind. That's so good. Even the mountains after dark, I need to talk with you, says Jody. Okay. 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 I'm not complaining. Sure. God, in weather like this, holy smokes. You're probably wondering why I wanted to speak with you. You see, I've been quite unhappy with my life recently. I didn't get to experience my youth, and I've been stuck around being a housewife. Or at least that's what I thought. You show me that it doesn't have to be like this. That I can do whatever I want to do. And along the way, I, I grew to like you. So I decided that today, I want to do something I've wanted to do for a long time. Swim down the Pelican Town River. Sure. Yeah, that sounds fun. I like swimming. I'm glad to hear that. Let's get going then. Splish splash. We're not really swimming. We're kind of just chilling here. I, I have to admit, I'm nervous. But I don't think I have anything to fear with you here. Holy, she's just walking. She's not even swimming. She's just cruising. Oh, she ditched me. I'm way too slow, apparently. She made it. I'm happy that I could finally do that. And I'm even happier that I got to do it with you. Hey, Kent. Just went for a nice swim with the wife. What are you thinking? My farm's thriving? No, I've been neglecting it in favor of something else. I have no idea where Caroline is, so I just slept. And we're going to hunt her down today. I... I feel kind of bad. Like, no, I'm definitely a bad person for this. Undeniably, this is an objectively bad thing to do. Like, literally directly in front of Kent, too. Like, here, I'm just going to ask her to marry in front of Kent. Is that what I think it means? Of course I'll accept. Don't be... Are you friends? Uh... Uh... Is, is, is Kent here? Is he here? Oh. Wait, what? They're cloned. Have I been, like... Is there like a, a skinwalker? Uh, uh. Okay, 14 hearts. Let's go, let's see what's happening. We're right on time, dear. I just got back of my own home as well. We decided to tidy up our stuff now that so much has changed in all of our lives. In the process, I dug up this old coffee maker manual. Maybe you can learn something from it. Figure out how to craft a coffee. Bro, what about your kids? I'm so lot. What? Okay, if I go to the house, I think I get another cutscene, but I'm I'm not entirely sure. I do. Okay, what's gonna happen? Okay, I think this is the one we want. Hello, Gug. Could I talk with you for a minute? Uh. It's about Jody. I'm sure you expect me to bring it up eventually. I just wanted to tell you that, bro. What is happening? I'm so lost. I may not be the most emotionally intelligent guy, but even I know Jody wasn't happy with our marriage. We rushed into our marriage too quickly, and it had a lot of ramifications for her. I'm just glad she's happy now. Thank you. My honest reaction. Truly my honest reaction. 